Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do method bias tests in Smart PLS CBSEM based on this paper published in the International Journal of Psychological Studies by Leila and Denny back in 2019. Now they do a lot in this paper, but it all is summarized pretty much down here in figure four. We have these four models, which I will demonstrate over here in Smart PLS, and then some chi-square difference tests, which I will demonstrate over in Excel. So let's do this thing. First thing to do is get your CFA in CBSEM, and then add a common latent factor. So here's a latent variable, just stick it right there. Call this CMV, CM, oops, CMV for common method variance. And we will connect this to all of these manifest variables. One thing also to note is I have moved the path constraints that used to be on these latent variables from the path to the first indicator to the variance of the latent factor. So to do that, you just double click the path that has the constraint on it, remove that constraint, and then double click the latent factor and add that variance constraint, which I have at one. Okay. I'm going to speed up this next little bit because I have to connect every indicator to this CMV. And there we go. We are now connected to every manifest variable. But you see this is still orange. It's because it needs a constraint. Now we're not able to put a variance constraint on this because I'm going to add a social desirability bias factor predicting it. If you don't have a specific bias factor, then you can place that constraint right here. But for now, I'm going to place that constraint up here. Just double click that line, add a constraint of one, apply, and then I'm going to add my social desirability bias factor. Hold this down here, use it to predict, connect this. There we go. And this is what we would call our free model. We have three models we're going to be estimating during this test. The free model, which is all of these paths are estimated freely. Then there is the equal model where all of these paths are constrained to be equal. Then there is the zeros model or the baseline model where all of these paths are set to equal zero, implying that there is no common method variance. So this is the free model. I'm going to estimate this one first, calculate, regular algorithm, start. It throws me an error. That's fine. Most likely this is because of the path I have constrained. Covariance based methods are weird like this. I constrain this top path right here. I'll double click it, get rid of that constraint, apply, and I'm just going to stick it on a different one like the bottom one. Double click that one, stick a one in here and see if that works. Silly if it does, right? Didn't work. Close that. Oh, it may also be because I have the variance not constrained here, but a path constrained here. Double click that. Get rid of that constraint. Let's try running this again. And it seems to have run. All right. So this is our free model. And what we can see is the amount of common method variance attributed to each variable here along these loadings. But what I'm really interested in is the chi-square and degrees of freedom. So let me go get those over here in quality criteria, model fit. You can see the chi-square of the estimated model is 680.360. I'm just going to copy that cell and go over to Excel. And I've set up this little table here. I haven't made it available. Um, it's not that complicated to set up, but it just has a place for the base model, the equal model, the free model, and places you can stick the chi-square and degrees of freedom. And then the differences between those models, which are literally just subtraction, uh, an absolute value of the subtraction between the chi-squares of those models and of the degrees of freedom of those models. And then this is just the uh, chi-square distribution, right tail, for the chi-square and degrees of freedom differences that we observed. And that produces a p-value that tells you whether those models are different. So let's 
insert these values. I just grabbed the chi-square for the free model. So let me stick that in here. Just to double check, that value was 680.36. So we go back to Excel. 680.36. And the degrees of freedom are right here, 346. 346. And now let's go change the model. We go back and we're going to create a constrained to be equal model and then we'll change it to a constrained to be zero model. Make sure you're on the select tool, then double click a line. And I'm just going to name this A. Literally just a letter. Double click the next one, A. And keep doing this. All right, those are now constrained to be A, which means they're all equal to each other. And we run this again. It runs. And you can see right now they don't appear to be equal to each other because I'm showing the standardized estimates. But if I were to switch over to unstandardized on the outer model, you would see they are all set to be equal to each other, 0.992. But right now we're just interested in that chi-square and degrees of freedom. So model fit, 778.67, 778.67. This is on the equal, 778.67. And the degrees of freedom are 368, 368. And we have our first comparison, equal versus free. We'll talk about that in a minute. But let's go get our baseline model, which is to set all of these equal to zero. Once again, I will speed this up so you don't have to see it all. Zero. And again, zero. And there we go. It's all constrained to zero. We could run this one more time. Singularity matrix problem. Ooh, that's fun. So it was not able to converge. Now, CBSEM is a little fickle and kind of funny about constraints. So this didn't run. And if I move a constraint around, it might run. So let's try that. Um, I'm going to move the constraint from useful, which was its variance here, apply over to its path. Now this isn't perfectly equivalent to the previous models, but it's pretty darn close. And if I really wanted to be consistent, I would probably rerun those other two models. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep moving forward. Let's try calculating this and hope it works. And it works. What do you know? That's so silly. Well, here we have all the zero constrained and we want to go to model fit, grab the chi square and degrees of freedom. We have 833.541, 833.541, and the degrees of freedom are 369, 369. Okay, and now what we see here is that there is a significant difference between all of these models. Uh, the equal versus base, meaning that the equal variance across all factors is not equal to zero. The base versus free, which is that when estimated freely, the method bias is not zero. And when estimated equally versus free, we can see that the distribution of shared variance, which we are attributing to common method bias, is not distributed equally. It is distributed unequally. So we do have method bias, and it is not equally distributed. That's what these p-values less than 0.05 are telling us that these models are not the same. And so we do have method bias, significant method bias. Now, what do we do about that? Just as we used to, we either generate factor scores while these variables are present so that the factor scores generated are adjusted for method bias. And that's probably the best approach in Smart PLS CBSEM since this is a fairly complex model already. And the way you would do that is you go back to your report, open report, and you create a data file. So create data file. And let's name this 
uh, boot camp CMB adjusted. Sorry, I can zoom in here. LVS. And those are latent variable scores. And what we'll do is we'll create them based on the 10 Burge scores. And if we want to retain the manifest variables, we can. If you hit create, then what that does is it creates a new data set. If I go back and save and go back, then we can see we have a new data set over here called right here. Bootcamp CMB adjusted LVS. There it is. And that's a data set we can now use. It has common method bias adjusted latent variable scores. Well, I hope that helps. Sorry, that's pretty complicated. But I just wanted to show you that method for assessing method bias in SmartPLS CBSEM.